Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I have a small build for you that I would call the MacGyver of quadcopters, maybe even the Swiss Army knife of quadcopters because this little guy can literally do it all. You want freestyle? No problem. You want slow and cinematic with an HD camera? No problem. You want digital HD FPV? No problem. Maybe you even wanna be under 250 grams. Well, stick around and I'll show you what I got. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ethan Mitchell and if you're new here, I do drone reviews and tutorials. So if that's something you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button along with the bell and you'll be notified when I post new content. So today I'm gonna to show you a three inch build that I put together and this little quad has quickly become my daily flyer. So you may be asking why three inch? Well, there are a few reasons why I chose to go the three inch route. Number one, it's quiet. Compared to five inch quads, this little thing is a whisper, especially if you're flying in the 250 gram configuration. Number two, it's small. The smaller size makes hitting really small gaps a piece of cake and it's easy to carry around. You can just throw this inside your bag with the props on and you're out the door. Also when you're flying, it doesn't draw as much attention as a five inch quad. So that's always a plus, especially if you're in an area where you'd like to be discreet. Another reason why I really like this build is I have it running on 4S. And I find that 4S is a good balance between battery management and the power to carry a full size action camera. The smaller 4S batteries charge very quickly and you can use a smaller 4S charger that also makes it easy to travel with. I use the HTRC Duo Charger and it has dual XT60 ports and you can charge two to 4S LiPos and you can see that it's really, really small. This is what I use for my 6S batteries, and yeah, that's, that's no fun to travel with at all. So let's jump into the parts list, and I'll show you what we're working with. For this build, we are going to use the iFlight IH3 V3 frame. Now, just about any 3-inch frame that is set up to work with split-style cameras should work. I picked this one because it's light, easy to find, and it doesn't need any mods to work with this setup. The motors are HLG RC Flame 1407 running 3600 kV. The props are Gemfan 3052s, which is what I prefer, but you can go with a lower pitch 3025 if you want a little more throttle resolution. We have the Crossfire Nano for our receiver just because that's what I have on everything. It's been working great for me and I've never had a fail safe ever since I switched over. The flight controller and ESC combo is the iFlight Sussex Mini F4 Twin G V3 stack. And that comes with a 35 amp 4-in-1 ESC that's running BL Heli 32. It can take input voltage two to six S. And finally for the camera and VTX, we have the Cadex Vista DJI HD system, which can also take two to six S. So if you wanted to run six S on this setup, you definitely can. Okay, let's put it all together and I'll see you when we're done. Okay, this actually went together pretty smooth. The DJI system just makes everything easier when it comes to wiring and controls. Okay, so we have everything buttoned up and I went ahead and configured all the firmware, bind the Crossfire and the Vista, and now we're ready to fly. Okay, so let's head out and do a quick flight. Okay, we're gonna send it up, but we're gonna start off in the 250 gram configuration. That is a 4S 650 milliamp hour battery. And in this configuration, it's under 250 grams. The Cadex Vista doesn't have an onboard DVR like the full size air unit does. So we're just gonna get goggle DVR, which is 720p at 60 frames a second, which is still, the quality on it is still really good. It's not GoPro quality, but it blows Fat Shark's DVR away, hands down in terms of quality and reliability. All right, guys, let's see how it flies.
Okay, so it does pretty well. Now let's head over to the beach, put the action cameras on and see how it does. Hey guys, welcome to Half Moon Bay. Well, we just completed the three inch build and what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it up and put it up for a little test flight just to make sure everything's working right, make sure all the tuning is squared away. And then we're gonna head over to the beach and zip this around on the beach and see how it does. Now, when we head over to the beach, I'm gonna put the action cameras on it. We're gonna put the DJI Osmo Action on and see how it does with that. And then we're gonna put the Insta360 ONE R on and see how it does with that. Now, these two cameras are gonna add quite a bit of weight. It really should act like a cine whoop, but we'll see how it goes. You're gonna definitely need a lot more throttle but I have one little surprise for you. I'm also gonna put this on it. This is a stripped GoPro Hero 7, and this comes in at about 40 grams. So significantly lighter than a full-size action camera. And what we've also do, we stripped it down to the point where I'm actually gonna power it off the flight controller with the five volt port, and then we'll see how it goes. It should really fly extremely well with this. All right, I'll see you out there. All right, so we're down at the beach. I got the Insta360 ONE R in the quad. We're going to take this up and see how it flies. All right, so, all right, now we'll do the DJI Osmo Action and uh, see how that flies. I changed the mount, so this Osmo Action mount mounts on this guy. So just put her in and we'll see how it does. All right guys, so we're down to the last test. This is the stripped GoPro Hero 7, and that's it with it mounted on the drone. And this thing is super light in this configuration. With this setup, this thing rips pretty good. But uh, we're gonna get set up the GoPro real quick, then we're gonna go fly. All right, guys, there you have it. A three inch quad that can literally do it all. Um, this little thing is a blast to fly. It was relatively easy to put together. The Caddx DJI system just makes everything go together smoothly, but for an all in all, it worked out great. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button along with the bell and you'll be notified when I post new content. Have a great day, we'll see you next time.